Hey guys, what's up? So I'm out here in my backyard. So this is the first video I've done in my backyard and uh, there's my dog. So in the last two videos, I apparently need to learn how to hold a selfie stick. And that is gonna take a little bit of uh, practice. So my dog, this is gonna be my first introduction. Uh, to my dog who's actually a coding partner with me. Bayside, look up. She's like eating grass right now. Hey, Bayside. Come here. Come on. Come on. There you are. There you are. Yes. All right, so this is my dog, and she is a coding partner. So it actually helps to have a dog whenever you're, you're coding. Um, so when, whenever I get to, like, work from home, uh, I think it really does help honestly to, to just be able to pet the dog um, anyway so one of the things I, I wanted to talk about in, in this video is uh, I, I get a lot of the questions about you know, like how does somebody learn how to program you can tell somebody until you're blue in the face that you can like watch videos uh, or you can read books or you can just write code and uh, and ultimately that you just have to do something and the problem is, though, is that uh, some of the people that ask, they're, they're like, well, you know, what's the bare minimum that I can do to be a programmer? Um, and I can only speak personally, and I'm not the smartest guy in the world, but uh, when I first started, like, I was spending quite a bit of time, and I would come home, and I would be tired. And I would come home from work, I had a wife, I had kids, and um, I would find time in the evening, and I pretty much would train my brain uh, to be able to, you know, relax and, and basically get into a schedule. So, you know, you, you have to make sure you're eating, you're drinking, you're getting exercise. You need to spend time with your family. And uh, if you have children or something like that, then obviously you need to get out there and you need to spend time with them. Um, otherwise, you're going to feel you feel bad and it's going to be a lot harder to, to learn. So ultimately, you have to take care of yourself. Um, and then assuming you're able to do all that stuff, then... Uh, you need to find whatever time you can to then try to study. So in my case, I would try to program in the evening, and I'm sure that some of those times I didn't spend enough time with my family, but you know, there are sacrifices that you also have to make in life to be able to move up uh, and, and try to accomplish your goals and everything. But I would, I would program for a couple of hours, usually a night. Um, and I think the longer I did that, the more that my body was trained into to doing things almost um, subconsciously. So... Uh, these aha moments that you have as a programmer where like nothing makes sense and like you're reading a book and you're learning about variables and loops and all this stuff and and the concepts seem like oh, okay well that's that's simple if if I need to use make a list I just do this or I do that and um, the, but the, the overall big picture is never there so then when you need to apply those principles what the hell is that anyway when you need to apply those principles um, it, you know, it just doesn't fit. So the overall big picture isn't there. And um, it's ultimately when you start actually getting into more complicated code and you start trying to compile your program uh, as you start writing bigger and bigger projects and things, um, and then things won't work, right? And then you have more code than you've ever written before. You really have no idea what, where, where the problem lies uh, because really none of this stuff makes any sense. Um, but ultimately, um, I think being and having a schedule down when you're doing something as complicating as complicated as, as teaching yourself how to program uh, a, a, a constant schedule is going to be really important so if you're going to do an hour a day or you're going to do two hours a day if that's all the time that you have uh, even if it's 30 minutes a day just try to make sure that that you're looking out for you number one and that you're using your time effectively um, if you're like me and you're like a lot of programmers that I've read about and people that I've talked to uh, where like literally you won't be able to sleep at night because you couldn't get some some project running. Um, one time uh, I had like all this work that I had saved up on my computer and this is after I had had many sleepless nights trying to figure out how to get my program running. Um, one time, and this is a completely different story, but uh, I ended up, I bought this game like Witcher 2, I think it was Witcher 2 actually, so whenever that game first came out uh, I'm pretty sure I was an actual professional programmer at that time. I'm almost sure I was. Um, but when that game came out, like I had websites uh, that were in production at that point. 
and I had all this data that I had saved up and all these different programs that I had written over a period of years. And I went to upgrade my hard drive to, to actually play that stupid game Witcher 2, which wasn't even that great. I mean, it was okay, but uh, certainly wasn't worth what I'm about to tell you. Um, and, you know, I had to, like, okay, so I had to buy a new graphics card, and I, and I, actually, I didn't update the hard drive. I had to buy a new graphics card, and then I had to buy a new power supply unit for the computer because the power supply unit didn't give enough amperage or whatever in order for this graphics card to run. So I do all that stuff, right, and I'm putting everything back in, but I didn't pay enough attention to the wires that go into the hard drive. So, like, there were two different wires that plugged into the hard drive and, and that they fit right in. And I put them both in. But it turns out, like, when I turned that joker on, like, I started smelling smoke. I started seeing smoke. And I immediately <laughs> unplugged the computer, turned off the power. And I never, well, I, I figured out pretty quickly that I completely fried my hard drive in a matter of, like, two seconds. Um, and and that was a terrible experience because like all this code that I had written and stuff I had, I had stayed up like I mean I it basically I couldn't even sleep at night because I was like I just blew away Years worth of work and probably all kinds of work I don't even remember that was on that machine and probably don't even remember even now, but uh, ultimately The reason why I was losing sleep over it. It wasn't about the data or anything like that It was about the like basically the blood sweat and tears that went into writing these projects and these the, these you know all these files of code that ended up, you know, getting data for me or parsing data. I had stuff written in, in things like PHP and Perl and Python, and um, I was using Stack Overflow back then, but I had no confidence that if I didn't know how to do, um, you know, some particular task where I'm, like, iterating over two lists at a time or something like that, like, it took a lot of experience to be able to track down answers to how you accomplish things like that on Stack Overflow. Um, and either Google's gotten better at it or I've gotten better at it. But it seems like when I fast forward to today, I don't even say uh, bookmarks for the most part because I'm like, you know what, if I need to figure this out, I'm just going to do a couple of Google searches. I know how to search Google and I'll find, you know, the relevant information because even if I save a, a bookmark, I may not remember why I have that bookmark. Uh, so, so that, yeah, that's a long story short is that, uh, it's like I blew away my hard drive, I couldn't sleep, and it was because of all the, the code and the effort that went into writing code when I was first getting started that I lost. Um, and I was just fine without it, actually. So it turns out, like, when I bought a new hard drive, and that's why I said I had to update the hard drive, because I actually blew that hard drive away and, uh, and had, ended up having to replace it. And I ended up taking all that hardware, including... Uh, I couldn't return Witcher, I actually still have it. In fact, I sold it in a yard sale. Um, but... I ended up uh, taking all that crap back to Best Buy, um, and I was just like, damn, over a computer game, I didn't sleep, you know, hardly for a week because I was just worried about all this work that I had blown away. Um, but that's programming for you. Uh, there's going to be times where literally you can't figure something out for days on end. Um, sometimes, like, when you're in the corporate world and you're supposed to get something done, like, they look to you to get that job done, and you can't figure it out. and uh, and sometimes you need to be that guy that figures it out. So uh, that's even more stressful because there's not really anybody to turn to because you are the guy that is supposed to have the answers. And I think ultimately that's the biggest stresses. Um, and, and, and even bigger than that, I think, is then when you start getting into like systems architecture and you start making decisions that cost companies millions of dollars. And if you're wrong, uh, it's basically your butt on the line. Um, so. I don't look forward to that, to be honest with you. And I suppose that the, um, you know, alternative direction, if you didn't want to get into like software architecture, you could try to do like management. But um, in that case, then uh, you probably need to have some sort of a business degree from for many of the, the companies, unless you're actually running a company yourself. Which um, I definitely, I think that's, uh, I condone that. I actually do that myself. So. Uh, yeah, guys, that, that's uh, so everybody's different when you're starting out programming. Uh, how much time you spend programming is going to be up to you. But if you're not looking out for yourself and you're not actually building a, a nice schedule in order for your your body to be able to take in information, um, then um, you, you might just be wasting your time and spending your wheels. And I think that when you're first getting started, trying to identify when you're not really accomplishing much um, and sometimes it feels like you accomplish nothing but normally you should be able to look back 
uh, over a week's period of time or a month, and you should be able to see growth. And if you don't, um, then you may need to just you know hold hold the brakes for just a little bit and um, and just try to figure out you know what it is that's going on in your life that that is uh, is not allowing you to get this because it could be things like diet, exercise, family, uh, or lack of time or uh, motivation too. So. Um, Everybody can learn how to program if they want, but if they're not actually motivated and they don't really want to be a programmer, then, I mean, there's nothing that anybody can do that's just going to make this process easy. Um, it's not an easy process at all, um, but it's something that everybody's capable of if, if you have the desire. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good night. Bye.